Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and we have another Humble Bundle. And starting about a year ago, I decided whenever a Humble Bundle was of interest to game developers, I would buy it, cover it, and let you know what is in it. In this particular case, I didn't really have to hum and haw if this was for game developers or not, because frankly, Game Developer is in the title. This is the Humble Book Bundle Become a Game Developer. Now, that's actually a little bit misleading, because this is actually about half books, half video tutorials, and their supplemental content, such as projects and so on. And it is from Packed Press. And that's kind of a mixed bag. But at $15 for the highest tier in this bundle, all you need is one item in this to appeal to you to be worth your money. So let's take a look at this particular bundle. Now, as always, ways bundles work is basically it's a collection of stuff. In this particular case, game development books and tutorials. Um, and you decide how your money is allocated. You can have some of it go to the publisher, some of it go to Humble, some of it go to charity. And if you so wish, and thank you if you do, some of it to go to support game from scratch. This particular bundle, as I mentioned earlier on, is a bunch of of stuff from Pact around a game development theme. And I gotta say right up front, there's a very Unity heavy focus. The way it works is you buy in various different tiers. Uh, if you buy at the $1 tier, you get everything in that tier. You buy at the $8 tier, you get everything in the $8 tier and the $1 tier. And if you buy at the $15 tier, you get everything. Speaking of which, $15 is less than it would cost to buy one of the items in this list. So if you see something you like, the highest tier is definitely worth it in this case. So let's take a look at what we are getting here. First off, you get the Unity 2018 Artificial Intelligence Cookbook. Now, I've been covering these for a while, and I don't think any of these books have been in prior bundles, but there have been a lot of packed based bundles in the past. So do be sure that whatever you're interested in isn't already in your library. On top of that, we've get the videos, hands-on game development with Unity 2018.1, mobile game development with Unity 2019, uh, and game design with Unity 2019. So as you can see, even at the $1 tier, it's not like you're buying obsolete crap here. This is all for the most current rendition or version. Next up, we have the $8 tier. Of course, if you do buy the $8 tier, you get everything in the $1 tier as I mentioned earlier. And in this particular case, you get the Unity Artificial Intelligence Programming 4th Edition. We'll come back to that in a second, uh, which is a book. And then you get the videos, Practical Unity Game Development, Hands-On Augmented Reality with AR Core and Unity, Introduction to Unity, Skeleton vs. Zombie MOBA with Multiplayer in Unity, Beginner and Advanced Lighting in Unity, and Cinematics and Animation in Unity. And then finally, we go to the final tier, which contains by far the most books. We got four books here, including Unity Virtual Reality Projects, Unity 2018 Shaders and Effects Cookbook, uh, Unity 2018 Cookbook, uh, learning C Sharp by developing games with Unity 2019. So again, all very current in their versions. Uh, Master AR Core 1.3 Unity SDK, build six augmented reality apps. Learn to code in C Sharp in Unity 3D. Uh, create an image target based augmented reality experience using Unity 3D and Euphoria 7. Create augmented reality uh, apps using Euphoria 7 in Unity. And finally, create a game environment with Blender and Unity. Again, those last five are all uh, videos. So if there's, by the way, if I have purchased this, obviously, if there's anything in here that you want specifically to know more about, ask me. I will do my best to follow up and let you know what it is like in the comments down below. So next up, we have, um, here's what you actually actually get in the bundle. So once you bought it, it goes into your Humble library. The cool thing is you can hog back into Humble at any point in time and re-download all these books. So you can kind of use Humble as your virtual storage locker, especially if like me, you've been buying all this crap over and over and over again. Eventually you end up with quite a huge library. In this particular case, what you get is at the top tier, six books as we covered earlier on. Cool thing is they are in every major format, including PDF, EPUB, and Mobi, plus the supplemental project files and so on that go along with it. As well as that, we have the the various different videos. As you can see, there are 800, a quarter of a megabyte, sorry, a, a 25 megabytes, 1.8 gig, 1.9 gig. So they really vary in size between, oh, this one's 7.8 gigabytes. Um, so between 20 megabytes and seven gigs in size. And of course, you see, you also get all of the project files that go along with it uh, in zip format. You can extract this out and then you have the projects obviously to work with. Um, so that is the formats you get things in. If you're interested, let me just go ahead. So this is a zipped video. Let me grab one of the smaller ones. I'm not 100% certain what file format these are. So let me just open up one of the videos so I can verify to you. Um, the video is, this is the project. Why did you give me those supplemental files? Video. Supplement, okay. 
That's a bad one to try on because the video and the supplement are swapped. Okay, that would explain why the video was so small. So this video is 26 megabytes is not. The video is 300 megabytes and the supplemental files are 27 megabytes. That would explain the size disparency there. All right, so we'll let that video download and I will give you the file format in just one second. All right, and as you can see, I'm getting 11 megabytes per second down from Humble, so you do get different, um, decent speeds out of them. All right, so they're MP4 file in various different formats, and then we've got a docx supplemental instruction file. So they're broken out into MP4 files. Should be playable by any player pretty easily in that particular case. But do be aware of this. So sometimes when the supplemental is really big, uh, in that case, it's just actually really big, uh, it might be that the video is actually uh, swapped with the supplement. They kind of made a mistake there. Now, if you're interested, two of the books that were actually in this bundle, so we're going to head back over here. You'll see uh, the AI one here. For example, the fourth edition here and the 2018 Intelligence Cookbook. If we were to go over to Amazon, as we just saw, you'll see that the book prices are like 40, 50 bucks in, in um, paperback or 20 to 35 dollars in ebook format. By the way, that's what all of these books are is ebook format. So as I mentioned earlier on, if there is a single item in this bundle that looks worthwhile for you, everything else is basically free as a gimme throw in. So if you are interested, again, these are fourth edition and second edition. Let's head on back over. Uh, so you'll see we've got uh, second edition and fourth edition. So you are getting the most current versions of everything in this particular bundle. Now, of course, if you're not into Unity, this bundle is not really that useful to you. They should have actually called it the, uh, let's see, what's, what's the actual name here? Become a game developer should probably be become a Unity game developer. But uh, you know what? I, I, I'll let it go. A lot of people are developing Unity. It's fair enough. So anyway, so what do you think of this bundle? Are you working in Unity? If so, does anything here interest you? What do you think of Pact? I actually think this kind of sums it up. So we've got a, a three star here and we've got a five star there. And that's kind of how it goes. You probably search through the rest of the books. There'll probably be a one star and a five star in there. The quality with Pact can be incredibly random. Random. But again, at this pricing, if one item appeals to you, once again, it's worth it. So uh, I'm sure something in here is going to be worthwhile. As again, as long as you're a Unity developer, if you're here for Godot or Unreal Engine or so on, uh, there is kind of nothing here for you. But if you are a Unity developer, this one is almost a no-brainer. So let me know what you think of it. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. And if you do have any questions about anything in specific, uh, do let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you in the comments down below as well. Okay. See you all later. And uh, happy Labor Day. Goodbye.